this too far? You can hear me, good. Let's go ahead and land in an easy seated position. Crisscross applesauce or sitting on a bolster or a blanket, <clears throat> however you can get comfortable this morning. Allow your shoulders to melt down as you reach to the crown of the head and begin to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Long, slow breath out. Take another deep breath in through the nose. Long, slow breath out. <clears throat> Taking these first few moments to scan through the body and notice how you feel physically in this moment. What's showing up for you sensation-wise, tension-wise. And as you're scanning through the body, see where you can relax a little bit easier into this space. Go ahead and shifting away from any negative self-talk into kindness and unconditional love for yourself. So if any of those thoughts float in, just redirect them with love. After you've finished scanning through the body, draw the awareness to the mind space, how we feel mentally in this moment. Maybe you've had a super calm morning. Maybe you were rushing to get this started, but just become aware of how your, your mental energy is right now. Take a few slow breaths. And as you're scanning through this mental space, notice if you begin to bring tension back into the body. And where is it landing? It's not, oh, I'm messed up or I'm doing something wrong. Where is it landing? Is it in your jaw? Is it in your core? Is it in your hips? Right? And that starts to direct us to which chakra, and then we can start to balance that energy. So if it's in our throat, our jaw, our face, relax, release, let it go. It's in the shoulders, the neck, relax, release. If it's down in the hips and the low back, relax and release. And drawing our awareness to our emotions and how we feel emotionally in this moment. Same thing, as you start to become aware of that, notice if tension begins to land anywhere in the body. And just a reminder, it's okay to feel however you feel, especially with this big full moon energy that we just went through. Everything might feel a little heightened. You may feel more sensitive. You may almost feel an underlying sense of vibration or tingling um, passing through the body. All very normal. Breathe and love yourself. Let's take a cleansing breath, big full breath in, fill up with as much air as you can, expand the lungs, expand the belly, and then let it out. Slowly bringing your eyes back open into this space. We're going to move through a tapping series. So if you've never done this before, if you've done it before, you can keep your eyes closed. Um, but we're going to tap on top of our head. I hope you guys can see with this light. Over the eyebrows, on the side of the eyes. Underneath the eyes, and I'll walk you through all this. Underneath the nose, underneath the lip, 
right here underneath the collarbone, there's li little divots in the body, and then right underneath the armpits. Delaney loves this one. She thinks it looks like a monkey. <laughs> so when we're doing this series, each round that we're doing it, I want you to take a big inhale and a long exhale. So we'll tap on the top of the head, and it'll be one big inhale, one long exhale. Thoughts that you can think while you're moving through this could be your intention for today's practice, or it could just be that you could just be saying, I love you to yourself. It could be that simple, or it can be, you know, super deep and meaningful, however you want to move through that. So as you're ready, let's start to bring the fingertips to the top of the head, and we're going to tap as we take a huge inhale, and you're just tapping. Exhale. Bring the fingers over the eyebrows, tap, big inhale. Exhale. Side of the eyes, big inhale. Exhale. Under the eye bones, inhale, under the eyeballs. Exhale. Under the nose. Exhale. Under the lip. Exhale. That K27 point under the collarbones. Exhale. Under the armpit, right where the bra line is. Exhale. Bring the hands down to the laps. Close the eyes. Take a few breaths in this new energy space. And maybe again you scan physically, mentally, emotionally how we feel. Holding on to that intention for today's practice as we begin to open our eyes again. If they weren't closed, no worries. And start to sweep one, sho uh, one shoulder all the way down to the hand. Clear it out. Sweep the other one. Clear it out. Reach down for your legs. Sweep it. Clear it out. Sweep it. And clear it out. Coming back into an easy seated position. Moving through some seated cats and cows. Inhale starts to take our heart forward. Lift up belly. Exhale, curl back and in, chin to chest. Three more just like that. So move with your breath. It's not just about the shapes and the postures, but how we move through our body in each moment, right? So if we're holding our breath and we're limiting ourselves, right? we're not only limiting ourselves from growing physically, or healing physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. One more round. As we move through this practice today, really allow the breath to guide you. Coming back to a neutral spine. So if you get into like a short, choppy breath, you know that you're out of alignment. So just pull yourself back kindly. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Drop your chin to your chest. Left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder, chin to chest, <laughs> left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest. Inhale, sits us back up nice and tall. And we'll start to move through some side body work. I'll stay facing you. Inhale, left arm up and over. Reach and expand through that side body. Take your chin down towards the ground. Breathing fully here into the ribs. Take your chin as far up to the sky as you can and then peel that left shoulder back just a little bit. Engage the belly, slowly rise back up to stand, reach to the crown of the head, and let's head over to the other side. 
Inhale, expands us, opens us up, and then take that chin down towards the ground. Take that chin up towards the sky. Engage the belly. I like to exhale to rise, but you choose how it feels good to you. Lift up nice and tall. Extend the legs out in front of us for a moment. Give them a little wiggle. Inhale, reach his hands all the way up to the sky. Let the legs fall heavy. So instead of flexing and letting, making them super active, let them be super relaxed here. Inhale, reaches those arms high. Shift forward so you can't go any further. And then bring yourself back up nice and tall. Make sure the core is doing the work here, the front and the back. Shift forward. And back up. One more like this with the heavy legs. And back up. Bring the hands down by the side. Slowly walk your way down to your edge here. Remember, relax the legs. Drop the crown of the head down. Breathing for three. Two. And one. Inhale brings us back up nice and tall. Sit tall. Take a bend in the knees. Slowly lower your weight all the way onto your back. Scoop belly in. Plant the feet hips distance apart. Bring the fingertips down towards the heels. Inhale presses us up for a bridge back bend. Scoop the belly in as you lift those hips to the sky. Walking shoulder blades together behind the back. There's a slight tilt of the chin to the chest. Pull in through the center of you as you open up through that heart space. How can you make this easier, right? Mentally, physically, and emotionally. How can you make this easier for you? Exhale, slowly lower back down to the ground. Take just a moment to let all the muscles settle, releasing the glutes, hamstrings, shoulders, belly. And then windshield wiper the knees side to side. Bringing the legs to a 90 degree angle, flex the feet. This is going to start to get into the lowest part of our core. So try not to let the back lift off the mat. Pull that back and down flat. And again, keeping those knees straight up and down. Palms come to the knees. Press the hands into the knees, the knees into the hands. Relax the shoulders and breathe here as we pull down through our belly. Ten, nine, eight, relax. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those feet back down to the ground. Hands down by the sides. Inhale, bridge, back bend, pull up. Exhale, lowers us back down to the ground. Take that moment of stillness, settle. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. Come back to center. Find those 90 degree angles with the legs. Drop the low back down to the mat. Pull down through the core. Point the toes this time. We're going to tap our toe to the earth. Alternating legs. Ten. Nine, don't let those legs come past that 90 degree angle. Seven. Six. Relax your shoulders. Four. Three, pull down through that belly. Two. And one, come back to center. Hug those knees tight into the chest. Pull up through the core, th uh, sorry, through the crown of the head. Relax in the back of the neck. Plant the feet hips distance apart. Let the knees fall to the left side of you. <clears throat> a little bit of a twist here, but it's getting into the top of this right quad. If you want to add a little bit of pressure, um, <clears throat> take the left foot on top. If it starts to bother your knee at all in any way, take the foot off of the top. As you relax here, come back to that same state that you were in in the beginning of class, right? Relaxing through the entire body.
slowly coming back to center gently and wind those legs. Let them fall over to the other side. Maybe that right foot comes on top this time. Expanding open through that left hip, that left quad, arms, and uh, arms are super heavy here. <laughs> And we'll gently unwind, come back to center. Again, hug those knees tight into the chest. And come back into that 90 degree angle. This time feet are flexed. Pull down through the belly. We've got another round of 10 here. Tapping that heel. 10, 9, 8. Relax what you can. 7, 6. Pull down. 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Come back into that tucked knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock forward and backwards. And we'll come all the way up to a seated position. If that doesn't quite work for you, roll onto your side, press your way up. As we land in this seated position, we're coming right over into tabletop. So you can cross over the ankles or slide the feet around to the side. Stacking shoulders over wrist, hips over knees, lift through that belly, become super activated here. Find some barrel roll cats and cows. So you're going to inhale, open up to the side, drop the belly down, exhale, curl up and in. So you're like a jump rope with your body. Roll down, out, and open. Relax the head, let it go with you. And reversing those directions, other side. Coming back up into a neutral space, tabletop. Spin the pinkies out to the side. Begin to rock, 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 rock. Right? Maybe the opposite hand stays grounded. Maybe it starts to lift up. We're really using our core here and pushing into the hand that's on the earth. Come back into a neutral tabletop. We're going to start to tuck our toes and shift our weight forward. Shift and stack back into table. So as you shift forward, shift, ground through your fingertips and stack back into table. So you can take this as deep or as little as you like and back into table. Shift and back into table. Shift, and back into table. Last one, shift, and back into child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Press that chest back and down. Relax, open up here what you can, and find some heaviness through the head and the neck. Holding on to that intention for your practice, right? Each breath reminds us to come back. And then make your way to a downward facing dog as you're ready. Tucking those toes, lifting the hips up to the sky. First down dog of practice today. Be gentle and easy with yourself. Maybe both knees are bent. Twisting hips side to side might feel good this morning. Pedaling out your dog may feel good as you bend one knee and then the other. I just offer you to go like a little bit slower than you want to so that you really have to pay attention to what your body is saying. Staying away from that autopilot of what I think I should be doing and be in alignment with what you really need. Inhale, rises as high up on the tippy toes. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. So you can step, walk, or hop your way up there, finding a forward fold when you land. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Shoulders are back. Belly is in. 
Exhale, fold, drop your head, heavy head. Inhale, rise up, tall mountain, reach those hands to the sky. And we're going to start to take them forward in front of us, down, back like wings, up and around. Forward, down, back and around. Keep moving here and you can keep this very stiff and linear through the core or you can start to make it a little more fluid. Down, back and around. Down, back and around. Make sure that the core is engaged so that we're protecting that low spine. Staying strong in our foundation. Last one. And the hands are going to come behind the back, interlace the fingers, press down as you open up through this heart space, and then um, widen your feet a little bit wider than hips distance apart. Take a forward fold here. Knees can be super bent so that you can rest your chest on your thighs. And then nod the head yes. Notice the tension that's landing in the back of the neck and just ask it kindly to release and let go. Taking whatever movement you need here, listen to your body. Gently releasing those hands down to the ground. Guys, inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Slide your left foot all the way to the back of your mat. Back knee comes down, modified crescent lunge. Okay, just checking out how this left hip is feeling. And then start to heel toe this uh, right foot to the right for lizard. Both hands come on the inside. Heart and eyes reach forward. <laughs> Inhale, we're going to find a cow spine. Inhale. Exhale to a cat, curl up and in. So you kind of shift back on top of that left knee. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, shift it back on top of that knee. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, shift it back, and let's go all the way into a wide split prep here. So right leg starts to straighten. Both of our hands are still on the inside. And this right knee might not get all the way straight. That's okay. Um, breathe softness into the back side of the leg. So it's about how can I ease this, not how can I force this leg straight here. Relax neck, relax shoulders. Then we're coming back into our, I'm uh, sorry, runner's lunge, lizard lunge, good gracious cat. And then tuck your back toes, slide your back knee up just slightly so you're more in a tabletop foundation with the back knee. Options. We're going to send that right foot all the way back to the mat and it's going to hover. You can wiggle it there. Okay. Or you can extend it out and float it around. Right leg stays extended behind us. We're going to tap the toes to the earth. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a bend in this knee. Send that heel to the sky. Five, pull up through your belly. Four, up through your belly. Three, press into your fingers. Two, and one. Start to extend that leg out again. We're coming into a modified side plank. So right hip starts to open. Right hand starts to lift to the sky. Plant that right foot, outer blade of that foot. Yeah, awesome job, guys. And then go extended here through the side body. Lots of balance and stability here in this space, so be kind to yourself. You can always pu pull that left foot back for a little kickstand here. Stay or begin to hover that back foot. 
stay or catch a bind. Take a bend in that knee, reach back for that foot or ankle, and we're peeling our heart towards the front of our mat, <laughs> engaging through that core. Slowly coming back into that tabletop alignment with the right leg still floating. Be sure that you're mindful of your left knee. All right, here's where we're going to work it out. Left toes tuck. We're finding three point. Right leg lifts all the way up to the sky. Roll that ankle around one direction and then the other. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward into a high plank or modified plank, knees to the earth. Exhale, lower down chaturanga. Shift your weight forward, elbows pull in tight to the body. Release all the way down if you're in that modified variation. Inhale, up dog or cobra, lift through the belly. Exhale, back downward facing dog, tuck toes, lift hips. Big full breath in here. Exhale, full, let it go. Inhale, rise high up on the tippy toes. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Step walker, hop your way there. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. <laughs> Exhale, fold. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Drop the top of your head down. Once you drop the head down, see if you can pull the left hip back just a little bit. If you want to add something to this, bend deeper into the right knee. Slowly coming back to center. Take another inhale. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, full walk hands over to the left side of you. Again, drop that head down. Slide the right hip back. Slowly start to make your way back to center. Another inhale lifts us. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, tall mountain. Bringing the hands behind the back again, interlace the fingers. Slide the knuckles over to the right side of you. And then drop the right ear to the right shoulder. As you drop the chin to the chest, slide the knuckles right to the spine. Pull the elbows back. Belly in. Hips forward. Inhale, lifts us all the way up nice and tall. And then the knuckles go over to the left side of you. Left ear to left shoulder. So whether you're feeling sensation or resistance, it's the same. It's the same. So just... Be kind in that moment. The feeling might not be the same, but the goal is the same, to just relax into it. Chin to chest as the knuckles come back to center. Maybe they're a little higher this time. Elbows back, hips forward, belly in. Then gently release those hands down to the sides. Um, so let's see, we went back and down. Now I don't remember which way we went. Tail. <laughs> Which way did we go a second ago? Does anybody remember? No worries. We're going to go forward. So inhale, lift, open the heart. Exhale, roll. That's the opposite. There we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So don't force the movement. Just let it flow. Last one. This one's going to take us all the way to our forward fold. Lift up. 
and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Slide the right foot back. We'll be in that left runner's lunge. Find the alignment that's working best for you. Left knee on top of the ankle. And then back knee comes down to the ground. Take a moment to see how this feels on this side before we shift over into that lizard. Heel toeing that foot to the left side of our mat. Both hands come on the inside. Rolling through those cats and cows. So inhale brings the heart forward. Exhale, curl up and in. Inhale brings us forward. Exhale, pull belly button to spine. A few more rounds. Move with your breath. Last one. We start to straighten the front leg, shifting back into that wide split prep. Left knee might not go all the way straight. Maybe you need a little bit of movement here with that front leg or those hips. But get to an area where you can start to really release and relax. Shifting your weight forward back into that lizard, slide the back knee up slightly, setting up for like a tabletop variation. And you can wiggle that left foot all the way to the back or you can engage the core, pick it up and float it to the back side of you, finding that extension nice and strong and then rolling into a modified side plank. So plant the outer blade of that left foot down to the back side of your mat. Right hand is grounded, left hand starts to lift open, press hips forward. Going extended here, reach to that side body, really press down through the pinky side of that left foot. Stay here, begin to hover that back leg. Stay here, catch a bind, take a bend in that knee, reaching back for that foot or ankle. It's okay if you wobble. Ground down through that right hand, pressing through all five fingers. Engage and lift your heart. Slowly coming back to the extension. Back into our tabletop. Left leg is going to hover when we're ready. Tuck in the toes. Find your way to that three-point right leg. I'm sorry. Grounds down. Yeah, right leg grounds down. Left leg lifts all the way to the sky. Roll through that ankle one direction and then the other. Hips are square. Head is heavy. Oh, I know what I forgot. I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. So we're going to come back forward into that tabletop, that one leg tabletop. Roll that right knee back down to the ground. Left heel is going to extend here. Tap the toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a bend in that knee. Pump that heel to the sky. Five, four. Belly lifts. Three, two, and one. Now extend that leg out long. Finding a tabletop. We'll switch the hips from here. Heading back into a child's pose when you're ready. Big toes together, knees apart. Option to stay here or we're going to thread the needle from child's pose. If you want it from tabletop, please take it. Right arm is going to come underneath us over towards the left side of our mat. We start to look over to the left side of our mat and our right hand, I'm sorry, our left hand can stay planted to the mat or reach around for our right thigh. Always options here. Do what feels best in this moment.
using that left hand we're going to slowly unwind those arms both arms are out to the side here swivel to the right and the left bringing some mobility into the spine and the shoulders and then we'll head over to the other side left arm is going to thread through right arm reaches up and over or maybe around the low back whatever feels good in this moment What can you let go of here? Two more breaths. Slowly finding your way back out into that funky child's pose where we got our hands planted and kind of circle, serpentine, swivel. And we'll find our way back to a downward facing dog. Tuck those toes, lift those hips high to the sky. Inhale, our right leg lifts all the way up. Take a bend in this knee, starting to stack open our hips. Stay right here, <clears throat> or feel free to play with any variation you're working on. I'm just going to talk through them. If you already know where you need to go, go ahead. Again, staying here is a wonderful option. Coming down to your left knee is also an option here as a modification. Coming down to left or both forearms, always an option as well. Ooh, I'm moving too fast. Flip dog, wild thing, or finding balance. Got about four more breaths. Wherever you are, inhale brings you back up to your three-point. Exhale takes you into a warrior one. Foot comes in between the hands. So if it doesn't quite get there, use that right hand to pull it up. Plant the outer blade of the uh, left foot, 45-degree angle. Lift up through those hips, relax through the shoulders. Right hand is going to pat yourself on the back. Left arm is going to reach up for that right hand and grab a bind here. If that is not an option today, left arm comes up, grabs that right shoulder, and pulls back and down. Now, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but my alignment in my spine is off here. So I'm going to tuck the tailbone down, lift up through my belly, then lift up through my chest. So I'm in a better alignment for my low back. Gently release those hands. We're going into airplane or grounded airplane. Shift forward. Lift that left foot off of the mat. Maybe our hands are down to the earth or blocks here. <clears throat> Wherever you are, maybe the toes tap the earth. Five. And lift. If that's too much, just stay with the balance. Four. Three. Lift your belly. Two, and one. Pull those shoulder blades together. If your hands are lifted, bring them down to the earth. Start to slide that left foot on the outside of the right foot. Moving into like a wide version of Krishna's dance. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see it. Feet are a little further apart. Hands can be on blocks or your hips if you need them here. Drop the head down. Breathe into that sensation, that resistance. Stay here. Walk your hands over to the right side of you.
Hands come back to center. Gently unwind those feet. Bring them about mat's distance apart. Toes out, heels in. We're going to have a seat for Malasana Yogi Squat. Knees are going in the same direction as your toes. Tailbone down towards the ground. Hands can stay on the ground if you need them, or maybe they come up to heart center, using your elbows to push those knees open as you drop the hips down. Breathe. We'll slowly find a forward fold. Hands come to the ground. Turn those feet parallel to the long edges of your mat. Drop the head. Sway side to side. Starting to bring those feet back towards one another. Take a little inhale. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Palm the mat. Find your way back to that plank or modified plank. And choose your flow. We'll land back in a downward facing dog. Big full breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale, left leg is going to reach to the sky for a three point this time. Taking a bend in your knees, stack to open your hips. Stay here, come down to right or both forearms. Play with balance or flip your dog. Three more breaths. <sighs> Landing back in that three point, we'll exhale, warrior one. Foot lands in between the hands. Rising strong through that foundation. Hips are squared towards the front of your mat. This time, left hand comes up to the upper back. Right arm reaches back for that hand, either grabbing hold of that bind or taking right arm up for that elbow. Pull back through the ribs, up through the crown. Slow the breath. Gently release that hole. We're floating into airplane or grounded airplane. Hands come all the way down to the ground. Shoulder blades peel together behind the back. Stay here and balance or play with tapping the toes. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hands come down to the ground. Crossing the right foot all the way to the left side of the mat or as wide as you want to go here. I have mine about two fist widths apart. Stay right here, dropping through the top of the head. See how it feels. Where is that pulling? Where is that resistance? Where is that sensation? Breathe. Stay here, walk over to the left side of your mat. Three more breaths. Slowly come back to center. Gently unwind those feet. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Take a deep bend in the knees. Let's go ahead and have a seat on our bums. Bringing feet together, knees apart, bound to angle. Give the knees a little bounce here. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Slowly shift forward and fold. Maybe the palms are up to the sky. Maybe you're supporting yourself with some blocks or bolsters uh, as well. However you would like to be here, we got about seven to ten breaths. Relax the neck, the jaw, the, get as long as you can in your spine. And then inhale is going to rise us up nice and tall. Bring those knees together. Give yourself a little squeeze and make your way onto your backs. <sighs> Setting up for a reclined pigeon from here. Right leg is going to cross over the left. Pull in through the left, um, sorry, grab and hold of the left hamstring. Pull in and then flatten out through the shoulders. If that's too deep, maybe you just have the left foot planted with the right leg crossed up and over. If that's not deep enough, maybe you just hold the right leg and extend the left leg long down the mat. You choose where you want to be today, where, where your body is asking you to be, right? Find a little bit of ease maybe by rocking side to side. Allowing the low back, the hips, and the shoulders to melt into your mat. Bring that softness, that easiness up into your neck. From here, slowly set the right sole of the foot on the outside of the left hip. So you're twisting towards the left side of you. You would love for that right knee to be straight up to the sky, but if it's pulling towards more towards you, that's okay. Try to encourage that movement of it going up towards the sky. If this twist is right for you, right? So listen, if it's not right for you, you know to listen to your body. Open up and find that heaviness. Our knees start to come back to center. Send those heels to the sky, hip stand. Legs do not have to be straight, but try to um, face the soles of the feet towards the sky. Really flex through those toes, ground down through the hips and the sacrum. And then making your way over to the other side, left leg crosses up and over the right, reclined pigeon. You can hug that right knee, plant that right foot, or hug the left leg and extend the right leg long. Choosing where you want to go today, maybe you have that gentle rock side to side, really encouraging that easiness through the entire body.
Last three breaths. And then as you're ready, send the sole of the left foot all the way down to the right side of your mat, opening up the upper body uh, wide like a T, encouraging that left knee to the sky. Knees begin to come back to center, taking any final movement you need to take to complete this practice today. And as you're ready, releasing out into your variation of Shavasana, I'll offer you feet together, knees apart today. If that's not for you, no worries, right? Bring one hand right to your sternum, your heart space, and we're just going to tap here. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep breath in, long breath out, last one, side out, <sighs> hands can rest by your side or maybe one's to heart center, one's to the belly, close your eyes. Take the next few moments as an opportunity to allow the body and the mind to rest and heal. Drawing awareness towards the crown of the head, begin to relax there. The forehead softens, release. The eyelids, the eyeballs get a little heavier in the socket. Softening through the jaw, the lips. Releasing through the back of the neck, being sure you're not pushing the head into the mat. Melting the shoulders, the chest. Softening through that upper back, belly, releasing through the hips and the pelvis, softening the glutes. Finding heaviness in the quads, the hamstrings, the knees. Working your way down to the calves, the shins, the ankles, and the feet. And just allow yourself to relax in this space.
Just noticing the gentle rise and fall of your breath. Knowing that in this moment you are safe. In this moment you are loved. In this moment you have everything you need. There is no lack. Slowly coming back to your breath, deepen it just a little bit more. Bringing movement back into the fingers and the toes. If the knees are open wide, maybe you start to pull them back towards one another. Gentle windshield wiper. There's no rush here. Right? No sense of urgency. It's all intuitive. Allow the body and the breath to guide you. Staying on your back or beginning to roll onto your favorite side, just take a moment, this final check-in. How do I physically feel? Where are the sensations landing in my body? Is it my neck, my shoulders, my chest, upper back, my hips? As you become aware of where the sensation is landing, maybe become aware of the chakra that is also in alignment with that sensation. that can begin to bring us more clues of how to bring balance back into our lives. As you're ready, begin to make your way up into an easy seated position. Hands can rest in the lap for a moment as we check in with ourselves mentally. Has there been a shift throughout the practice? And if not, that's okay. There's no attachment to that. But just become aware of how you are in this moment mentally. Bringing both of the hands to the heart or hands to Prayer at heart center, whichever one feels more natural in this moment. How do I feel emotionally? And allow yourself to become aware of all of the emotions that want to show up, right? The good ones are not the only ones that matter. We are supposed to feel, process each and every one of them. Sending breath right into those hands. We'll take a cleansing breath here, big full breath and fill up. Exhale it out. <sighs> Closing out this practice as always in this seat of gratitude. Gratitude for this opportunity to practice together, this, this moment, this choice you made to get on your mat. Gratitude for the intention that you set for practice and the things that you let go of during this practice. Sliding the thumbs up to the forehead, finding gratitude for one another, and this amazing energy we just shared. Namaste, friends. 
Namaste, guys. How are we doing? Oh, I went over a few minutes. Sorry, I couldn't see the clock. I hope you feel good. <laughs> How are we? Awesome. Awesome. So glad you're here. Yeah, drink some water. For sure. You're welcome. Welcome. Looks like we lost two. I hope they didn't. Uh, I hope they just had to leave a few minutes early. Hi, Mallory. Hi. Oh no, guys! A little bit of trouble with the internet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, what happened is, if you make it have to pay a little closer attention, is that every so often you would just kind of freeze up, right? We were like, "Where's she headed? Where's she been?" But okay. So if I'm ever here again, I won't use the computer. I'll use my phone because it won't cut out. Okay. I just use the computer so I could see you better, but. I apo apologies for that. I hope um, you were able to drop in. Maybe that's why the other two people left. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I'm enjoying the Saturday, so I might, I might keep them. Um, I, I don't have anything next Saturday, so I'll, um, I'll probably do it again because I'm enjoying it. I don't know if there'll be an every week thing because sometimes I'm out of town and these things happen, but it seems like the phone usually does good um, instead of just being hooked to the Wi-Fi, so... Uh, Thank you for being patient with me, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys tomorrow morning for power yoga. We'll amp it up. It'll be a little bit more intense than today's practice, and the Wi-Fi will be um, on point for sure <laughs> tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank, you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your day. You too. Bye, guys. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining us here at Cat Harmon Yoga today. I hope you enjoyed this class. Feel free to always head over to catharmonyoga.com if you want to join us for any of these live Zoom classes. You can keep up with the week-to-week -week schedule via Instagram, um, and you can follow me there at Cat Harmon Yoga as well. If you enjoyed the video, please click subscribe, maybe click the little like button. Um, it really does help me out, and I'm so incredibly grateful for each and every single one of you. If for some reason you would love to send a donation today, to Cat Harmon Yoga. The links are on the website as well. Other than that, enjoy this beautiful day. Bye, guys.